Good afternoon, Matthews and Film Majors. Today is Wednesday, July 11th, 2012, and today we're gonna talk about something a little bit serious. The following video contains language used in a direct quote form that may not be suitable for all audiences, so proceed with caution. Some of you may be aware of vlogger Lacey Green, who recently signed offline after receiving violent threats and pictures of her apartment building in her inbox. For those of you who don't know, Lacey is a social justice blogger who puts up informative and entertaining sex ed videos on YouTube. In a Sparknote summary, without trying to offend anybody, this is what seems to have happened based on what I have seen and read. Lacey, a few years ago in 2009, uploaded a video in which she used a word while unaware of the social implications or the weight the word carried in the transgender community. I'd show you a clip of the video in question, but after Lacey was told about it five days ago, she took the video down and apologized publicly on her Tumblr page. Again, Spark noting that intent to offend, another of the widely cited incendiaries of the situation is Lacey's open dialogue about her opinion on religion, specifically a negative opinion on Islam, which she bases on her own personal experiences. That being said, on Monday, July 9th, Lacey made a post on her Tumblr page informing her followers that she would be taking a break from the internet for a while. The post was accompanied by these two images, one being a screen capture of an email that includes a blurred out picture, and the second second being a screen cap of text that reads, I'm happy you're finally getting all the hate you deserve, you stupid transphobic cunt. Who the fuck do you think you are insulting Islam? You're fucking right, you made a mistake, and now you will pay for it. I know you live at, a blacked out address, Berkeley, and I will personally smash your stupid fucking face in if I ever see you in person. Now I know that when we started this vlog, I told you I wasn't going to tell you what to think but I will tell you what I think. I do not know all the details about what happened with Lacey Green in this situation, but I do know that she didn't deserve this, because no one does. While I know that bullying, harassment, and stalker behavior is sadly not as infrequent an occurrence as we might like to think, some of you may be aware of Anita Sarkeesian's ongoing struggle with online harassment, links below, to put so much effort into making someone else's life miserable or unsafe because of a difference in opinion shows a level of hatred I do not think is healthy or productive. To the people doing this or supporting this, whether it's against Lacey Green or Anita Sarkeesian or other YouTube vloggers or celebrities or exes or random strangers online, what have you, I now speak directly to you. If you continue to oppressively silence the people who have differing opinions than you, there will come a day when you're in their shoes and there'll be no one to speak on your behalf. We need debate and discussion in a truly open forum in order to foster change be that a change in politics, a change in society, a change in religion. Threatening someone or staking out their home or encouraging them to kill themselves destroys that forum and that security, and that is never acceptable. No matter how privileged the target or fringe the attacker, or how fringe the target and privilege the attacker, or any combination thereof. Debate or discussion becomes impossible when a party is silenced, and a line is crossed when you go from debate to threats or violence or harassment. Beating someone down does not make you right, just as being outspoken does not make you wrong. We as human beings have to accept that there are and will always be other human beings who do not have the exact same opinions that we do, and we are obligated to either look past those differences or to listen to and contemplate them if we ever want to get anywhere better than where we are. We can't break the cycle by repeating back the actions to whoever started it. The first step to stopping these actions is to stop perpetuating them. I'm not saying that one person is right and one person's wrong. I'm saying we all come from different backgrounds and live different lives with different experiences. But while we're all here, we should try and get along as best we can. Violence and hatred breeds violence and hatred. To quote Albus Dumbledore, we are only as strong as we are united, weak as we are divided. Differences in habit and language are nothing at all if our aims are identical and our hearts are open. Something to think about. That's it for me today. Susan will drop in on Friday and we hope to see you then. Bye.